More than 900 Israelis have been infected with the coronavirus as restaurants, movie theaters and most public spaces come to a screeching halt to contain the virus. This week, Israelis are mandated to stay home. The Israeli National Police and the Special Task Force is patrolling different areas together with inspectors of the Ministry of Health in order to try and locate and find individuals that have to be in isolation according to the new laws that are being implemented here in Israel. This is part of the national effort. These new restrictions are all part of Israel's effort to fight what it calls an all-out war against an invisible enemy, COVID-19. The people hit hardest are Israeli businesses. Such a strange situation. It's dystopian. Uh, it's worse than any war we've had. We are now doing our only takeaway and uh, we're sending out food, but uh, no one's ordering because people are afraid to open their door. Israel's unemployment rate has shot up from 4% to 16%. There's no income. We're worried about rent. We're worried about bills. We don't know what's going to happen. Israel's finance ministry estimates the country stands to lose $12 billion from the pandemic. Many are turning to God for help. As usual, I prayed for health for my family, peace for Israel, and for the coronavirus to go away from here quickly. That's also what I asked for. CBN Israel is providing aid and resources and economic development to Israelis hurting the most. Go to cbnisrael.org to find out how you can help.